you know, not very good comparison. Great quarterback, great coaches, great skill players, outstanding technique. Those guys have won 29 games straight. Uh, they've done a lot of great things at Clemson. They're doing a great, great job of attracting great recruits and developing them. A lot of similarities. Well, that is very special. It's very special for us to uh, drive down the interstate yesterday with a great motorcade. I know our players were looking forward to that. And uh, ever since we knew that the national championship was going to be in New Orleans, it was a goal of ours to win every game, to earn the right to get here. And now we're here, but we got to do something about it. No, I couldn't have read it. No, there's no way. And especially to have the football team that we have, that coaching staff that we have, and, and have the type of players that we have and the camaraderie we have at, at this time, I think that uh, there's no way I couldn't have read a better script. No way. I think it's a combination of senior leadership, a combination of uh, being prepared, our coaches. Uh, you know, we led by Joe. Uh, Joe's a very serious guy. Uh, we've got some leaders on defense that have really come along. Rashard Lawrence, uh, we talked about this in his living room uh, during recruiting. Uh, those guys were uh, very, very focused on getting here. And uh, you got to give them the credit. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it, it fires our team up, and uh, Joe is like a linebacker out there. And, uh, you know, I think it all started last year. You know, he took some hits against Georgia, I mean, two seasons ago. But the time that he got hit against UCF, and uh, he got back up and went down 14-3, to three, I think that kind of sent a message to our football team who he is. Did again, man? You know, it, it's always going to be about LSU, but you know what? We have pride in being the SEC. Uh, obviously, I know a lot of people that I've been told have been pulling for us because we, in the SEC, I think it, it is the greatest conference uh, in the United States. There are a lot of great players, and we're honored to be here. Uh, to be in a national championship game, you have to beat a lot of good teams in the SEC to get here and then go to the SEC championship and beat another good team. So we feel that uh, we've earned our right to be here. Uh, we feel that uh, we are always represent LSU, but it's a great to be a member of the SEC. Well, his quick release, his reads, the, the plays that they give him. I mean, that he can make a decision on a line of scrimmage whether to hand it off, whether to throw it, the short, easy throws. And then they're going to take shots with those big receivers. He gets a one-on-one. He's going he's gonna to give the ball down the field. And then it shows you the type of championship quarterback he is that he started extending plays with his feet. I thought he took the, the Ohio State game in his own hands to win that football game. And you can see his determination, his grit, and his courage, just like you see in our quarterback. Yeah. That's part of it. I mean, you, you want you want guys coming after you, coach. It means you're doing something well. And uh, you know, I, I believe in Joe. I believe in uh, Scott Woodward, and I put up. He put it. Scott put the plan in place uh, a long time ago. I do believe that we almost finalized with the plan. I do believe that Joe's going to be a Tiger. But, you know, as in coaching in football, anything can happen. But I do believe that the talks that we have with Joe are very, very positive, and he's going to be at LSU. Yes. Yeah, I think it's a combination. I think they have contributed to the offense with the outstanding skill. But I think this offense has put them in positions to showcase their talents. So we know that we have juniors that are going to leave. But that's a good thing for us. That's a good thing for us in recruiting. Uh, guys want to come to uh, LSU. They want to get developed. 
and they want to be high draft picks. And when they get to the NFL, they want to have a lot of success. So I think that it shows that we can take a guy like Justin Jefferson as a two-star athlete who we – he could have been a five-star as far as it mattered to us because we thought he was going to be a phenomenal player and him develop into the type of young man he is. So we've got five-star athletes in Jamar Chase. We've got two-star, three-star, four-star. And no matter how you got here, I think guys are getting put in position to make plays in space and develop. Everything. Everything. You know, everything that uh, we've done up to now is good, but it's not great. We want to be great. And um, to finish the season strong with a win is our goal. And obviously that uh, is going to be a tough task. But then we look at it, you know, we, we didn't look at it, hey, man, we got to go down there, win the national championship. It's going to be bigger than ever. We got to play well enough to beat Clemson. And that's been our focus. And, uh, and we, we've done that every week. So we weren't going to change that and not make it bigger than it is now. After the game, uh, depending on the results, we get to look at all that stuff. Yeah. I do believe it's a combination of their great athletes that they have, but he always has them in position to make plays. I mean, the guy's a phenomenal game day caller, especially his blitzes. Uh, he knows how to blitz protections, and he can just send one linebacker, but it's at the right place. The way he uses number 11, he's going to be all over the field. He puts his athletes in premier spots to make plays, and the guys play with great technique. They're hardly out of position. I think every coach, obviously, when you get to be a head coach at this stage, you have to play to your strengths. And I do believe everybody's different. And so some guys are X and O's guys. Some guys are uh, CEOs from the top level. It takes all kinds. I always felt that uh, I was a people person. Uh, I always wanted to be in the mix. I wanted to be involved, but I wanted to be a team player. I was a team captain when I played. I do believe that recruiting is uh, very important in college football. I enjoy recruiting. I enjoy meeting people. So that's the way we run our program. We say one team, one heartbeat. Everybody has a role. Nobody's role is more important than the other. I coach from within, not above. That's working for us. Everybody feels in this organization that they're pulling on the same side of the rope, and that's important to winning. I do. I feel at home. I always wanted to go uh, go recruit in Louisiana. And, I, and I've been at other schools, and, and I was comfortable in their homes, too. But there's something about being from Louisiana, uh, wearing the purple and gold, and going into a, a school or a home in the state of Louisiana. I feel like I'm at home. I feel like I can relate to the guys. If they talk Cajun French, I can talk to them. I probably know them. You know, I know their coach for sure, and their, there's relationships. What's happened for us in the last couple of years, when we go to a home at a home visit in Louisiana, it's not an official home visit, it's a party. I mean, there's 30, 40 people there, there's jambalaya, there's gumbo, there's food, there's music, and it's just a festivity. So that's a great part about being in Louisiana.